Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on the video of style today. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This car is really, really, first off, it was great looking when it was new, and it's even better looking today, in my opinion. So one cool thing about this car is this has a very special package on it, all right? That gives it uh, that roadster kind of feel that was so exciting back in those days. The BBS wheels, the skirt kit, and these things, uh, the fender brows as well. The cool thing about that is, if you don't like it, we can just take it off and we have the stock wheels here for it as well. Very easy fix, so you just let us know what, uh, what you like best, all right? So in the crazy world of, of exotics and classics, you know, this car is very expensive for its time. And it's really, uh, I feel, one of those cars that continues now to appreciate. You know, these cars were not a lot of money uh, 15 years ago, and now they're starting to do their rise, just like 560 SLs and uh, 300 SL Gull Wings and 190s and all those cars now that are really worth a lot of money. The 450 is now starting to do that same exact thing, so this is the perfect time to get in on them, perhaps what might be a really great investment. Not only is it a great investment, but it was very ahead of its time. Think about these things for a second. First off, we're talking about four-wheel disc brakes, 1977. Four-wheel disc brakes, right? Modern radial, four-wheel independent suspension. Hefty V8 with plenty of torque and power and all the amenities that you could want. Air conditioning, power windows. Uh, we talked about the power four-wheel disc brakes, fast ratio power steering. Like all those great comfort feature things that you get on today's modern car is wrapped up in this very classic looking car as well. So if you're looking at a 190 or something like that, it wouldn't be getting all of those, uh, all those little accoutrements. All right. So uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about paint. This car has been repainted and they did a really, really nice job. And if you could come on up there for a second, you can kind of see how clear the writing is on here. You can see how uh, the depth and the clarity. And why is that important, you say? Well, the reason that's important is because the effort that's gone into paint this car. This is not a $2,000 paint job. This is an $8,000 paint job. And there's a very big difference between the two. In pictures, they don't look any different. In the video, they look really different. Okay, so let's look at the styling package that we talked about. The wheel and tire upgrade here. We got the side skirts here, all right? The fender brows, this rear wing. All of this stuff comes off. It's just a package that was installed uh, back in the day because this was the hot tuner kit uh, there. If you don't love that package, this is easy for us to take back to the original style and uh, just let us know how you would like to do that. But one thing that these cars have always been known for, and that's their power, and I want to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to take a peek under the hood for a minute, and I want to show you why. Low mileage, well taken care of cars look really nice. You can only power wash uh, a high mileage car so many times it still looks ugly. Now you're going to see why this car looks great too. But the one cool thing I love about these is most people have no idea how to open the hood. I see people stand outside looking at these cars for, for 15 or 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get there. I'm going to show you in five seconds how to do it. Boom. Undo the latch inside the car, reach your hand right in here, and here's the lever right there. All right, we just washed this car, so sorry about the water, but no big deal. But what I wanted to show you was how clean everything is in here, right? Power steering we talked about, air conditioning inside here, all right? power steering, uh, power four-wheel disc brakes that we talked about, the overflow tanks. Like, these are original pieces to this car. That's a pretty cool thing when you think about uh, how old these are and the fact that they're still uh, holding up well. It gives you an idea that this car was garaged and was taken care of. It's not a car that sat outside its whole life. The fittings are nice and clean still. They've been converted over for the air conditioning, all right? All the fluids have been changed. That's the kind of car that we're hoping that you're going to get from us is that a car that you can put a key in and enjoy. We've, we've changed the oil on the car, checked the tire pressures, made sure the lights work, the, the dash and turn signals, uh, the AC blows cold, gauges work on the dash, and but the carpet's nice, and all those little things add up to give you uh, what really ends up being a great, great car. All right, so this is kind of the stuff that I, would, I, I like people to see. Like, this has an all-new carpet kit, trunk kit, and things like that. The battery case is still here. Brand new power antenna. You know, there's a lot of receipts and a lot of dollars spent on the restoration of this car. And you can clearly see with all the functioning things and how nice the, the, everything looks, that's really uh, somebody put some time into it. So come on in here because this is where you're going to spend most of the time. I showed you the outside because you know what? That's what everyone else is going to see. But what I want to show you is how great this car is inside. So when you're getting a Mercedes, for instance, this same model, this Mercedes today, okay, is over $100,000. Why is it $100,000? Well, the reason why is because it's built 
Uh, very different than the other cars. This is a pretty heavy car, uh, especially for its size. This has all new seat covers. Let me turn the, let me turn the air conditioning off, it's getting a little chilly. All new seat covers, door panels, dash pad, carpets, new wood, console, upgraded sound system in here, all right? All this stuff is brand new. You're talking about uh, the restoration cost was more than they're even asking for this car. That's the great thing about buying the cars this way is because that's been already done for you. But they already knew these cars were powerful. 160 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM TAC, and full gauges on here. This has the upgraded Pioneer digital sound system in it, so it has like iPod, satellite, all that good stuff. We could put a stock radio back in here if you wanted to keep the dash all stock and you're a purist, and we could put this radio inside the glove box here and hide it for you. But it comes with the manuals, comes with the tool for opening the top, putting it down, and it just starts, runs, and drives beautifully. The AC in the car works beautifully. The heat, all that great stuff. The power windows work like they're supposed to. I'll tell you how preserved this car is and how long two family co own car. But this one family's had it since uh, the early 80s, right? And the reason I know that, first off, uh, they bought a lot of cars here and they finally traded this car in. But one of the reasons they, that I knew it is because they had right here mounted an old school car phone. And then it was the manual for the phone and stuff like that. And actually, here's the microphone. I should probably take that out for you. But I just want to tell you, it was pretty cool just to see it. It was a circa 19, early 80s, like old school. Like you were cool in 1980 if you had uh, a car phone. All right? But I did want to show you this as well. Check this out. Look how beautiful it is back here. All new carpets, panels. This right here is in case you decide to get uh, the hard top. Okay? You can plug in the defroster there. All right? Just a nicely, nicely done car, and it's priced so well, and it's so good looking for the money. Plus, you can finance this car, and it's like nothing. It's like a, it's less than a few hundred bucks a month for a car payment uh, on a classic car, and then it's worth every dollar you paid for it, you know, years from now. So, anyway, something to think about. All right, so let's add up what it takes to get to a car like this. Brand new paint job, six to eight thousand dollars. All new interior, somewhere around forty-five hundred dollars because you have new seat covers, carpet, zebra wood dash cover, all that stuff. Uh, the wheels and tires have been refinished. That's at least $1,000 to $1,300 to refinish those wheels. The accoutrements work, like air conditioning, power windows, all of that stuff. This is an awesome, awesome car. I know it's like, like, why do you keep rambling on about it? Well, because most people don't get it, man. These V8-powered Mercedes, first off, they're very fast. Second, they're elegant forever. Anyway, if you can find a way to get a really cool, uh, great roadster you could drive all year round, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.